within the environment at the moment, large companies do not create jobs, small companies do. It's absolutely fundamental to be able to start your own business and run your own destiny. And we've helped fund about a thousand businesses. Freddy's uh, actually sits almost like an old style bank manager. It looks at the plan, looks at the people, and looks at the, the, the future potential of the business and just fits the gap that banks maybe can't provide at the moment. I see Frederick's being a really key part in terms of supporting the, the startup sector in particular. If we can't support them at the outset because it, they haven't got the experience, Frederick's can come in, lend them the money, we can come in at the back end once they've gained that experience and lend them the funds they need to push it further. Two years ago, we were in a rut. We had no idea where we were going or where we would end up. In the end, we took my wife's hobby of baking and decided to make that into what could potentially get us out of the rut that we were in. We built a business plan up, but the one thing that we found from that is that we were going to need some capital. We had no money. With the debt that we had, the banks weren't going to lend us anything. Um, so we had to try and look at other options. We had passion, we had knowledge, um, we just needed extra cash. But luckily our business manager said, uh, you know, there, there's Frederick's Foundation. Dealing with Frederick's was a breath of fresh air. As with so many startups, these things take much longer than you originally planned for. So the funding that we got from family and friends was running low and Frederick's was our last option. Fredericks works with just one person per county. They have a big job and they have to raise the funds, support the funds, support the clients, find the clients. So it's a big job, but they're supported by an army of volunteers. Sometimes it's their time, sometimes it's their expertise, uh, and sometimes it's even, I get free premises here. So, uh, so that's really good. I'd like to offer something back. Uh, I feel I've had a good start in life and that's exactly what these people need to, us to help them to do. We had to explain why we'd been in debt, what we were trying to do to get out of debt, and how we were trying to help ourselves. One of the things people are often surprised by is the fact that there was a decision there and then. When we offer a loan to a Freddie's client, they always get the offer of mentoring, which is for free and unconditional. We've started employing staff, we've now got five employees from where we started with none. Uh, it's been really, really good. We've gone from strength to strength. You know, you can just look around and if it wasn't for the Fredericks Foundation, we wouldn't be here now. We wouldn't be here thinking about the future. The great work that Fredericks does is funded in a number of different ways. Originally, a lot of the money came from government. There are a number of substantial private donations. Some people contribute on a monthly basis. Some people do fundraising, get sponsored for events, or events held throughout the year. Other people uh, invest in Fredericks. It's a very tax efficient way of doing it because it does come with tax breaks through a government scheme. We are now opening in 10 new counties, uh, going up to as far north as Northampton and going as far south as Cornwall. Within that, we're looking to have um, a loan fund of something like £200,000. We expect that £200,000 will still be there in three years, in five years, in 10 years and it should have started within that, that period uh, 20 or 30 businesses a year. Fredericks has really made all of this happen. If without their money, I wouldn't have been able to do any of the things we've done. Yes, I've had to put a lot of hard work, but without that funding, I wouldn't have been where I am now. Thanks to the Fredericks Foundation, we can now think about the future. We have bright plans for it, and uh, we want to expand, and that's all down to them. So thank you, Fredericks Foundation.